What's going on everybody? This is Keegan here and welcome back to my channel and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. And today I'm bringing you guys another episode of questions and answers where I answer questions you guys leave me in the comments of either the last questions and answers video or any of my recent videos. And as always, if you have any questions you'd like to me to answer, feel free to leave them in the comment section below of this video or any of my newer videos that are going to be coming out after this video. And be sure to check in the comment section for the pinned comment by me for a question that you guys can answer. And um, yeah, so I have a total of 29 questions to answer and... Believe it or not, that's probably so far the most amount of questions I have to answer in the series so far, like, in the, in the videos, like, in the series so far, if you know what I mean. But uh, I don't really have much else to say, so let's start off with the questions you guys left me. So these first nine questions are from GTA 5 Fan 22 and his first one is, what are your favorite Brad Pitt films? Hmm... My favorite movies that Brad Pitt is in is between either Fight Club, Snatch, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Glorious Bastards, etc., and also Seven. Um, yeah, he's a he's in a lot of good movies, but I don't know what's my absolute favorite movie that he was in, but he's in a lot of great movies. Uh, the second question from GTA 5 Fan 22 is, have you heard of an actor named Christian Slater? Uh, yeah, I've heard of him. Um, the only movie that I've seen that he was in, as far as I remember, was True Romance. And uh, True Romance is an awesome movie. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. I'll probably review that movie maybe someday. Uh, the next question from GTA 5 Fan 22 is, have you seen the movie My Cousin Vinny? Uh, no, I've never watched it, but I've heard of it. I think it has uh, Joe Pesci in it and Marissa Tomei. I've heard of it, but I've never watched it, but I heard it's supposed to be a pretty good movie. The fourth question from GTA 5 Fan 22 is, What are your favorite war films of all time? My favorite war film of all time has to be between Saving Private Ryan, Full Metal Jacket, um, what's another good one? Hacksaw Ridge is another great war movie in Full Metal Jacket, which is a classic. I don't know, there's a lot of really, really good war movies. I also really enjoy um, We Were Soldiers, the one with uh, Mel Gibson from like 2002 about the Vietnam War. That's another really great war movie. But uh, I guess those are my favorite war movies of all time. But uh, yeah, so um the next one from GTA 5 Fan 22 is, have you seen the movie Heat, 1995? No, I've never watched Heat, but I've been wanting to check it out some t sometime. I'll probably check it out someday. I've been wanting to check it out for a little while now. Um, have you heard of a channel called Stack TV? I've heard of it. I think that's actually a streaming service, actually, for um, Amazon Prime Video, like if you have like the Fire Stick or whatever. I have the Amazon Fire Stick, by the way. Have you heard of a movie channel called Hollywood Sweet? I've heard of it. I watched a little bit of their a little bit of the channels when they were on their free previews. There's like four different channels of it. One of them where they only play movies from the 70s, another one where they only play movies from the 80s, the third channel being the, the one where they only play movies from the 90s, and the fourth one is where they only play movies from the 2000s and a little bit of the early 2010s. I don't have the channel, but I have watched the channel when they were on their free preview. It's a pretty good channel, I gotta admit. They have some good stuff on there. Um, the next one is, do you have stars? If you do, is it on Crave or Prime Video channels? No, I don't have stars. However, I do have Crave, but I don't have stars. Um, yeah, I don't have stars, but I do have Crave. And the ninth question, and this is the last one from his comment, did you know that MGM has a, a channel on Prime Video channels? Uh, yeah, I heard, know that yet, that they have channels, they have a channel on Prime Video. And there was another question that GTA 5 Fan 22 add, but has for me, but he didn't put it on the comment with nine questions. His tenth question is, do you have an IMDB account? 
Uh, no, I don't have an IMDb account. Although lately I've been kind of thinking about making an IMDb account. Uh, I might make one, but I'm not sure. Maybe. So, yeah. The next 10 questions come from Harold Dexter, and his first question is, what are some of your DVDs and Blu-rays do you plan on getting rid of? I don't have any Blu-rays that I'm planning to getting rid of at the moment. However, I recently made a video on the DVDs that I'm planning to get rid of right there. Uh, link to that video is in the description if you want to check it out. The second question from Harold Dexter is, what's your opinion on Toy Story 4? Um, I haven't checked it out yet. I have seen the first three Toy Story movies. The, they're all great movies, but I think the third Toy Story is my favorite. I haven't seen the fourth one yet, though. So I'll check it out someday. Um, next one is, what is your opinion on Trolls? I Trolls 2016. Um, I didn't care for it. And the fourth question is, from Harold Dexter, and his question is, What's your opinion on Trolls World Tour? I have not watched it, and I don't really plan on watching it, because I didn't care for the first movie. I don't think the second movie's probably any better. I don't know. I don't have time for kids' movies these days. Uh, the fifth question from Harold Dexter is, What was the first movie you saw in theaters? The first movie I ever saw in theaters was the first Incredibles movie. I was like three years old at the time. Um, man, that was a... I still remember that, the the first movie I ever saw in theaters. I can't remember the name of the exact theater I went to when I went to go see it. I can't remember the name of it, but I know that theater went out of business like 15 years ago or something. Like 15 or 14 years ago. I can't remember the name of the theater that I went to to see it, but it went out of business a long time ago. Um, the sixth question from Harold Dexter is, what are some movies do you plan on upgrading to Blu-ray? Uh, like I said on the first question from Harold Dexter, I made a video on that, on the DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of. Once again, the link to that is in the description. Um, the next one from Harold Dexter is, what's your opinion on Onward? I haven't checked it out yet. What was the last movie you saw in theaters? The Invisible Man, uh, the remake. Um, I haven't, speaking of movie theaters, a couple of the movie theaters in my area recently reopened, well, sort of, but they're not really playing anything new, but mostly other movies that came out earlier this year and ones that came out years ago. The only movie I'm planning to go see in theaters that I hope that thankfully hasn't got pushed back yet is Tenet. It might be coming out in September or something. I hope that movie will come out. I'll plan to go see that in the theater if it comes out. <clears throat> The next one from Harold Dexter is, do you like Lay's Classic Potato Chips? Um, yeah, I do like them. They're pretty good. And the last one from Harold Dexter is, what's your opinion on South Park? I like that show. I don't watch it all the time, but I watch it every once in a while. It's pretty funny. So, yeah. The next one is kind of a, a question. It's kind of some advice that I'm going to give out. And this one comes from Poe Pawn. And his question is, Hey, I'm a big fan of movies, but I'm also a fan of kayaking. I'm Dale Mark Ivith. I hope I pronounced your last name right. And my wife hates kayaks and I and always tells me to get rid of my kayak and start collecting DVDs because she loves them. I am reluctant because kayak is a big passion for me and it's just so accelerating being in a river with some nice water flow and a beautiful sunshine. My question is, what do I do? Do I tell her no, or do I get rid of my kayak? I know this is a hard question, but it's important to me. You don't have to get rid of your kayak. I just want to start off right off the bat by saying, you don't have to get rid of your kayak. If it's something you're passionate about, you don't get you don't give up on that. Never give up on anything you're passionate on. And you can still buy DVDs, but you don't have to get rid of your kayak. Um... But the thing I don't get is, why does she want you to get DVDs? Why can't she get them herself? You don't have to get rid of your kayak, but... The thing I don't understand is, like, why does your wife only want you to get the DVDs? Why can't she? That's kind of what doesn't really make sense. But the only advice I really have to say is, you don't ha don't get rid of your kayak. You can still have your kayak and still buy DVDs. Just never give up on anything you're passionate for. Like, anything you're passionate about. Um, I hope that advice helps. Um, 
I hope it helps. But that's the best advice I can give out. I'm not usually the best person when it comes to giving out advice, but I hope that a piece of piece of advice helped you. So yeah. The next question comes from Romano Costanza Morrison. His first question is, do you like Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC? Yeah, I do like KFC. I think they're pretty their chicken is pretty good. I don't eat there all the time, but I eat there every once in a while. It's pretty good. And the second question is kind of a long one. Regarding rapidly the rapidly changing Xbox 360 and Xbox One dashboard over the years since the inception of Microsoft's Xbox 360 in 2005, what, in your opinion, is the very best and very worst dashboard of the Xbox consoles that were released between the years 2001 and 2013? And what do these dashboard ranks pertaining to your favorite to least favorite Xbox 360 and Xbox One dashboard? With the last update happening a few months ago in 2020. Um, I don't know what's my favorite uh, Xbox 360 or original Xbox or Xbox One dashboard. Um, they were all pretty good, but I don't know what's my favorite one. I don't know how to answer that. But I, I like a lot of them. But, uh, and there was another question right here, it says, and also, what is, in, what is, what in your opinion is the ideal customization method of the P PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4? I'm a big fan of these consoles and would like to know how to get the most from my consoles. Um, I don't know how to answer that question. I don't know what's my, uh, uh the ideal customization of the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, or 4. I don't know how to answer that. And another part of the comment says, I'm a big fan of your videos, man. Keep up the great work and have an amazing day, man. Well, uh, thank you. But I don't really know how to answer that last question. But, yeah, I don't know how to answer it. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That was my phone. Just made a notification. Just ignore that. Um, so, anyways... Where's the next question? Uh, the next one comes from Andy Keyshaw, and his question is, Are you aware that on July 1st, 2020, Comedy Central announced that they are planning to do a second revival of Beavis and Butthead? The first Beavis and Butthead revival was in 2000, I mean, revival was in 2011, when they brought back a show for, for a season 8. I didn't know it had 8 seasons, I thought it only had like 4 seasons or something. Yeah, I heard they were bringing it back, apparently. I overheard in a conversation with one of my co-workers at work. We are talking a little bit about that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, um, is there not any questions I'm not missing? The next one comes with the Ultimate Video Game Master 5000, and his question is, what are your thoughts on the PS5? Uh, the PS5 looks really cool. Hopefully it'll look good. I'm planning to get the new Xbox, though. Uh, the Xbox Series X. I'm planning to get that. Um, the next two questions come from Metal Land Fan 2004 Backup. His first one is, have you heard of the movie Elephant from Gus Van Sant that came out in 2003? I know it says, have you heard Gus Van Sant Elephant from 2003? Um, I haven't seen Elephant, but I've heard of it. I've been wanting to check it out for a little while, though. I might check it out someday. It looks like an interesting movie. And the second one from Metal Fan 2004 backup is, have you heard of Touching the Void directed by Kevin McDonald from 2003? Uh, no, I've never heard of it. Maybe I'll, I've never heard of it until now. So, yeah. And the last question we have here is from Andy Keyshaw, and his question is, have you watched the 2020 movie Scoob? Uh, no, I haven't watched it, but apparently it's supposed to be a pretty decent movie, but I've never watched it. So, um, yeah, guys, that's it. That's all the questions I have for you guys today. And, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. And be sure to leave some questions down in the comments section below in either this video or any of my newer videos that are going to be uploaded soon. And one more thing before I end this video, I have a movie review video that will be coming out later on today, so stay tuned for that. So in the meantime, thanks again for watching, I hope you guys have a great day, 
And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.